Hey there, I'm Jake the Ash and Hollow. So souls-like is a term I don't really use often. It's an adjective that's been widely used over and over the past couple of years when a game has one or two things that might be considered similar to Dark Souls that get lumped into the souls-like genre. And it leaves a sour taste in a lot of Dark Souls fans' mouths, and I don't blame them. I don't want to use that term for Darksiders 3, but I do want to go over all the things that make it so much more similar to Dark Souls than other Souls-like games have claimed. And why, if you love and appreciate Dark Souls, you can find that same appreciation in Darksiders 3 in a fun and fresh take. Because it isn't one or maybe two things similar to Dark Souls and Darksiders 3, it's quite a few. And remember that while there are a bit of similarities here, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer every year. So here are 10 reasons that Darksiders 3 is more like Dark Souls than other Souls-like games. Number 1. We'll start with what most people attribute to Dark Souls games, and that is difficulty. Darksiders 3 combat is pretty damn brutal. I originally played it on story mode because, well, I make a lot of videos about stories of games, and I wanted to absorb that story as quickly and as easily as possible. Even still, I was getting my ass kicked left and right. In story mode, which is a step under easy. Sure, you could say, Jake, you just suck at video games, and while you're not wrong, that's not exactly it. There's a mob mentality in the enemy AI in Darksiders that just screamed Dark Souls to me, not to mention the unpredictability and chaotic attack patterns of said enemies. Number two, large linear maps. Big maps that just seem to go and go and go, and then all of a sudden you're back at a key location somewhere in the middle of the map. Dark Souls and Darksiders 3 do this great. Number three, treasure baiting. If you've played Dark Souls, then you know how quickly you had to learn to approach each shiny treasure with cautious awareness. The same mechanic is quickly becoming a theme in Darksiders 3. Number four, limited healing. Paired with the intensity of combat, you really have to plan your heals carefully. Number five, if you've played Dark Souls, you know that souls are a pretty big deal, as the title suggests. Well, in Darksiders, they're a pretty big deal as well, and you use them for the exact same purposes, buying items and leveling up. Number six, there are lots of shiny treasures everywhere, and a lot of them are consumable souls to bolster your soul count. Number seven, the Volgrim locations are basically bonfires. You level up there, you can warp from location to location, and you respawn there when you die. Number eight, there is a lot of lore presented in the item descriptions. Number nine, death is treated similarly. When you die, you lose your souls, and you have to collect them from where you died, as well as all non-major enemies respawn upon death. Number 10, and finally, it's a story about the end of the world and basically the downfall of humanity. I mean, sure, in Darksiders, it's not all Gwen's fault, but as sure as shit is somebody's. Now, I hope you don't think that any of these reasons or me listing these reasons means I'm displeased with Darksiders 3. It's quite the opposite, actually. Darksiders is a franchise that I love, and Dark Souls is a franchise that I adore. To see the former take inspiration from the latter fills me with joy. To relive similar game mechanics in a perspective unique to a different franchise and a different storyline. And I'm sure I'll get hate for comparing Dark Souls to something, I accept and understand that, but it was fun for me, and I figured I could perhaps at least do it once before getting any flack. <laughs> but either way, thanks a ton for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button if you want more videos. Consider following me on Twitter and or supporting me on Patreon. Both mean a lot to me. You can find links for all the things on the screen or in the description below. I freaking love you. Peace them out.